Hey everybody, so many years ago I made a video called No Fuel Gauge, No Problem, and this video has got a lot of views. Now, what I said in that video was effectively not having a fuel gauge is not the end of the world because most bikes that don't have them are 125s. Most, not all. I'm riding a 440cc bike without one, so I do know this. However, my answer is basically that you can actually feel when you're starting to run out of fuel, and thus it doesn't matter if you haven't got one. Uh, I, I may have mentioned a petcock in there or not, I'm not entirely sure. A lot of people over the years have watched that video, and a lot of people have got very mad at me and told me that I'm talking out of my butt. I've been riding bikes for 14 years, I own fuel-injected bikes, I own carb bikes, and I can tell when both of my bikes are starting to get low on fuel. It is not difficult to tell. However, I guess if you're new, you do not have that feeling of when your bike's starting to run out of fuel or when it's getting, you know, low. So there are some better answers to give you. So let's give you those answers now. Okay, so if you've got a pet cock on the bike, as in there a tap on the side of the tank, it most likely has got a reserve position. This basically means there are two tubes. One of them is longer, one of them is shorter. The normal one is from the higher position. When you, when the fuel gets to that top of that tube, your bike engine will start stuttering and it will die. You switch to the reserve, which gives you an extra, you know, litre or so, depending on the bike, sometimes a lot more, and then you can get to a petrol station, and that's how you can know. Another way is that you reset the trips. Now, my bike, for instance, has got an electronic trip. It's actually got a couple of different modes, and I can just reset it when I put fuel in the bike, and I know that I do about 110 miles to a tank, and then it's going to run out, so I normally get to about 80 or 90 miles, and then I'll make sure I go and refill it, and you also have to make sure clearly that you reset that every single time and you also have to fill the bike to the brim every single time so it's reliable so if you're going to start this system you have to remember to reset that trip if you've got one and fill it to the brim every time you fill it because if you don't you're going to be riding along going oh yeah, yeah, yeah i'm at 60 miles it'll be fine forgetting you only put half tank in it and then you'll run out of fuel so you've got to commit if you want to do that or I should say, if you don't have a trip, then you can use the odometer, you know, the total miles. Just remember what the last miles were, and you're going to have to remember, you know, whatever the next step of 100 miles or whatever your bike can do to a tank. That's another thing. You will have to uh, actually ride the bike until it runs out, pretty much, to know how many miles you can push it to. Or, you know, push it up a bit each time you've got to refill the bike, and knowing the quantity of the fuel that the tank can hold, the capacity, you know, it's an easier word to say, isn't it, you idiot? <laughs> If you know the capacity and how much you put in, you know how little you got down to in between, in between fill-ups. So you're going to have to work that bit out. But that's basically the answer to it. I mean, yes, you can actually fit um, spyglass fuel gauges that, like, you drill a hole in the bottom on the top of the tank and then you have a little glass that sticks out the side and you can physically see the fuel level. You can do that if it really is that much of a deal for you. I, I mean, you possibly could modify tanks to put an actual fuel gauge in it, but I have not seen universal kits or anything like that, I've not looked to be honest. You can of course also just pop the cap off and give the bike a bit of a slosh side to side to see how much fuel it's got in it. Many people would go by that. This is the problem, the, uh, as I say, this video gets watched by people who are new and don't realise that over time you will build up an experience and you'll get to know your bike and it won't be an issue. Um, but a lot of people won't accept that as the answer, they just want you to give them an absolute answer. If you want an absolute answer, here it is. You haven't got a fuel gauge? My bike with a fuel gauge. There you go, problem solved. <laughs> oh, I should have mentioned this with the pet cocks. It's all gone it's so much later. People are going to be like, why didn't you mention that? I did, you just didn't watch long enough. Uh, with pet cocks, you need to make sure that if you do knock it into reserve, when you fill the bike up, you put it back into normal. Otherwise, when it next runs out, it will be on reserve and you will not have reserve to go to. So that's important to remember. Well, there we go. There is hopefully an answer to your question that wasn't I mean, as I said, the last video angered people, and it only angered them because they didn't realise it's really a thing. I mean, I don't know if they thought that I'd, I rode bikes for years and then thought I'd make a video and just completely make up that you can tell when the bike's running out of fuel. Like, like I, I, I don't understand that mentality, unless they thought I literally was making a video to troll them. If you did find this one more useful than the last, or at least you found this one useful, please do hit that like button. I would very much appreciate it. Uh, subscribe if you're new here, because I'm on my way to 100k, and I would appreciate the help getting there, just so I can get the play button and stick it on my wall and be like, oh, I did a thing. And if you want to help support this channel, um, then please do that through Patreon. Huge, huge thanks to my patrons for supporting me. Until the next one, bye-bye.